Drugs with Plugs TV, and I'm back with another video. And we doing a reaction video today. I have not done a reaction in a long time. Got requested by Loco. Loco was like, yo, bro, do a reaction. I uh -uh. So I'm like, you know what? That might be smart. The top 10,000 ways to die. Deaths. So look at it. Y'all gonna tell me how y'all feel about it. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. I have not yet seen somebody do a thousand ways to die. So I feel like it'll be fire. Let's go. Consider these people DOA. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 a thousand ways to die deaths. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish oh. new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Make sure for this list, we'll my, be ranking. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all subscribe right now. Like the craziest, you. wildest. And if you didn't check out my new music videos, go check them out. And most gruesome death scenes that were featured on the Spike series, A Thousand Ways to Die. Deaths from every season will be considered for this list, just so long as they left one serious impression upon audiences and fans. Number 10, Midnight Choker. Somebody Here's a word to the wise. It's a very bad idea to try and swallow dangerous objects, even just for some kicks with your friends. This was, unfortunately, the cause of death for this poor guy. Hey, Sonny! Do the trick, brother! Do the trick, man! The segment Midnight Choker featured a biker by the name of Sonny, who made it a habit of swallowing pool balls and bringing them back oh, up. Oh, nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this nigga swallow... Yo, hold on. Why the fuck is bro trying to... That's, that's mo as fuck. You swallowing pool balls? But the greatest of ease. It's a pretty cool thing, but it's really... Yo, like, he got some... This shit's like... Man, he got some living... I think a neck look like he had a heart. Really dangerous. Unfortunately, Sonny met his demise trying to swallow the cue ball, which he didn't notice was slightly larger than the average pool ball. By the time he realized the size difference, it was too late. When he made the mistake of sticking his head inside a porta potty, the methane gas from the toilet caused him to pass out and eventually asphyxiate due to a lack of oxygen. The this nigga was smelling shit. Yo, nah. Niggas is weird. Number eight, Lawn of the Dead. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Just make sure you're safely out of the way when it happens. The subject of our next death didn't heed this advice and suffered fatal consequences. Matthew was partying with some friends during the hedonistic 1970s and decided to pull out the lawn darts for a bit of drunken shenanigans. Uh, who's up first? Drinking and sharp-tipped objects don't exactly make for the best of bedfellows, oh, however, man. a notion that Matthew found out firsthand. Check this out, Oh, this nigga's a dighead. This nigga threw the dart in the air. He was distracted by a flasher when drunk. tossing the deadly dart. And it flew directly up in the air and, and back in down head. into his skull, killing him instantly. Yeah, Number seven, a habeas corpse. Great view, isn't it? The next death on our list is an example of a practical joke gone horribly, fatally wrong. Ian's idea of fun was taking a running start and jumping into the tempered glass that lined the conference room of the prestigious law firm where he worked. This particular time, the window and frame gave way, leading Ian straight to his death. Oh. The lawyer plummeted to the ground below and died instantly as a result of severe skull and spinal injuries. This segment was based on the real-life death of Toronto lawyer Gary Hoy, although the A Thousand Ways to Die crew made Ian a sleazier sort of character, probably to lessen the impact of his loss. Number six, Fansicle. Oh, Call this next entry a series of really unfortunate events. Fansicle follows a rabid football fan who goes the extra mile to support his favorite team. Not even sub-zero temperatures dissuade George from painting his body blue and... Oh, nah, he's wild. He's out there painted blue. As y'all can see, he's painted blue and it's cold as fuck because everybody has a coat on except this idiot. Heading shirtless to the game. Unfortunately for him, alcohol abuse and some Arctic level freezing weather meant that not even his closest friends could see that George was displaying all of the telltale signs of hypothermia. And he died right there in the stands. Idiot. Idiot. Nigga should have been out there with a coat on. Nigga thought the Henny was about to keep him warm. At least he nah, passed away nigga. doing what he loved. Severe hyperthermia. Your core body temperatures drop to below 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep him warm. And you suffer multiple organ failure. Dickhead. What kills you is cardiac arrest. Number five. Titty titty bang bang. Just, Just down me. One of these if you want. I want 
stripper boobs. This death scene from A Thousand Ways to Die is one of the most popular in the entire show's history, despite the fact that the science behind it has been debunked by Mythbusters. Titty Titty Bang Bang showed the bloody aftermath of a boob job gone wrong, when a stripper, who received water balloon implants, sees them explode while flying to her new job. <laughs> Although the Mythbusters episode stated that there was no proof that this would actually happen at 35,000 feet, <laughs> Titty Titty Bang Bang nevertheless took the novel concept and ran with it for all it was worth. She's going to be exposed to a slightly lower atmosphere pressure, which could lead to failure. Can I imagine all if get implants and the shit just... Boom! Like a balloon, that's fucking nasty, bro. Failure and catastrophic outcome. Number four, uh, butt plugged. Damn, baby. But this went horribly wrong when a scuffle caused the can to empty its contents into Levinson's body, no. killing him. There's nowhere for that pepper to diffuse, so it's just constantly going to be irritating that lining, causing more and more. He stuck a pepper spray up his ass and a shit. More damage. Number three, sex ray. What are we going to be examining today? <sighs> oh, Sex Cells and the creators of A Thousand Ways to Die know this all too well. Perhaps this was why they played fast and loose with the facts behind this next death, another one of the series' most popular. Sex Ray describes how one unfortunate patient received a lethal dose of radiation to the brain as a result of some hanky-panky between a doctor and a nurse. Well, this certainly looks like a fun place to work. The death was inspired by the real-life fatalities caused by the Therac 25 Linear Accelerator, only sprinkled with a bit of the sauciness and black humor for which A Thousand Ways to Die is known. Can I get some help? We got it. Our advice, stay out of hospitals. Number two, mine over splatter. War is hell. And sometimes it can even come back to haunt us. The ex Viet Cong soldiers who inhabit the mine over splatter segment found this out firsthand. These men were already tempting fate by playing Russian roulette together, but in a fake out, they actually come through the deadly game unscathed. <laughs> That is, until they decide to celebrate by stomping around without a care in the world. They meet their end in dramatic fashion when the vibrations from their feet cause a long-forgotten landmine to explode, raining down fire, oh, nah. death, and body parts. When a human being steps on a landmine, it sends a electrical signal to a igniter and it explodes. Before we name our number one gross-out pick, here are a few honorable mentions. What's that smell? Something still cooking. Oh, it's Lionel. Instead of giving his robot a brain. He should have put his own to better use. Number one, a chainus runs through it. Chainus? Gonna make me famous. Body piercing and modification have come a long way, but sometimes a bad idea is just that. Somebody's done something. A just bad stupid. idea. Or just stupid. This is like almost the last one though. Yeah. A tattoo Bear artist named Zeke found this out the hard way when he decided upon an extravagant mod he called a chainus, wherein a chain was strung in his mouth, through his digestive system, and out his anus. Oh, As if this hell. wasn't painful. What? 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 Who the fuck put a chain in? What? The hard way when he decided upon an extravagant mod he called a chainus, wherein a chain was strung in his mouth, through his digestive system and out his anus. As if this wasn't painful sounding enough, a close call with an angry customer led to Zeke's chain oh. being caught on a forklift. The resulting pressure not only lifted Zeke up off the ground, but it sliced through his entire digestive system and throat, leaving him a bloody and disgusting mess. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe. If y'all like the video, make sure y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And drop a comment. Let me know what y'all favorite death was. Which one was y'all favorite? Because this shit is bugged the fuck out. But yeah, which one was y'all favorite? Make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. It's Joyce Plux TV. And I'm out of here. But make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for me. It's the big red button right down there. Right down there. Give me the 1K subscribers. And I will be dropping a crazy hotbox video. Let's get it. I'm out of here. Money morning. It's always a money morning. Let's go.